Hey guys, welcome back. So I kicked off this series with an initial video that talked a lot about my shed build, that I want to get a shed. I'm so excited about it. You know, it's going to be this outdoor space. The pad just got poured here the other day. So it's really starting to take shape and I'll be ordering the shed probably within the next week. It'll be about a month before it gets here, which is uh, a little nerve wracking and exciting and also gives me plenty of time to start really planning out exactly what I want to do. So a lot of these future videos are going to be about all the, the details and to go into, not the setup because it's a DIY kit, but the things like how I want to run electricity, what kind of lighting do I want to have and all that type of stuff. So I thought I'd take this video and take a little bit of time to talk about why does I even want a shed to begin with? Because if you think about it, here I have a three bedroom house. And even though my wife and I share an office right now, she just sits on the other side of me here, uh, we do have space to do a lot of the work and I'm, heck, I'm doing it right now recording this video. So why do I want a shed and what about having that shed is gonna be so much different than what I have right now? And so what I really wanted to focus on is that, that question. What are the main reasons why I wanted to go with this outdoor space or this alternate space to work uh, separate from what I've got today? And the three key reasons kind of are, one, I do a lot of work from home. Um, uh, not an excessive amount, but I do work from home fair enough uh, or fair amount. And I am on a lot of video calls and other things with either customers or our channel partners at work or my team. And I want to have a space where I can do those calls and my wife doesn't have to leave the office or doesn't feel like we're conflicting or feel like she has to be so quiet because I'm on a call and it's going to interrupt things. So I just, I don't like the in, her being so inconvenienced by the work that I have to do on a regular basis. So that, that's kind of the first one. Uh, the, the second one is, really around inspiration. So as I've been planning out my goals and really thinking about what I want for this next year, video is a big part of that. So I'm doing this video series as, as you know part of that project and that goal. Also, I realized that when I'm in this room right now, I've got a few things here behind me that help keep me inspired and mo or, or keep me motivated. I want to have a place where I can put in stuff that is my inspiration and I don't have to, you know, compromise on the space that I'm working with. So like, you know, these things behind me are great when I'm doing videos, but when I look on the other side of the wall, I see my wife's things. Those are fantastic for her, but it's not my inspiration. So I really want to have my own space and it's very selfish, obviously, but I really want to have my own space that I can put all these, you can't see them here, but a bunch of Star Wars bobbleheads and all kinds of other geek geekery that I love having that make me feel good and happy and things like that, that I just want to be able to have out and look at on a regular basis to help keep me inspired and keep me excited about this, these goals. I, heck, I even want to print up maybe some big boards that I can have on the wall for my year's goals. So I can always be looking at them and remember that's what I'm working towards, which gets me excited. Um, and then really the last thing I, I want to focus on is this kind of custom video thing that I'm working on. I have a little bit of equipment right now, so you don't see it, but I'm on this Logitech Brio webcam. It's a new toy I got and I love it. It's more of a high def video feed, which is fantastic. And I'm, I'm really, really happy with it. Um, I've also got a Yeti blue Yeti mic here right in front of me and you probably can't see it, but here it does. I'll be quiet with it. And these are great. They do take up a limited amount of, or an amount of the limited desk space that I have on this standing desk that I'm, I'm working from here. So I also won't really want to have a place where I can do arms or other stands, connect custom lighting, things like that, that are focused on doing this video. And I can do that now to a degree. I've got a closet over here, a small closet and other areas I could store stuff. We also though want this room to be a place where when friends come over and we have barbecues or whatever and they someone wants to crash or if we have family that comes by, we have a, a high to sofa, convertible sofa in the, in the corner. It's not a very big room, but there is a sofa in the corner here. And I, I really want this room to be a space where we can use it for other purposes and I don't have to compromise my wife's space or my space to do it. So if I move out of here, she will have a lot more room to really build out her own inspiring kind of inspirational pool that and you know she gets to work with and then by having the the shed outside i'll also have a place that i can have all my all like these stands for lights i just ordered some lights for the office that'll stand up but there's not a lot of room here so i'm just jazzed about having a place where i can have these things out i can bring them in as i want to use them i can put them back when i'm done and i'm not affecting anybody else other than myself to do that so i that all that gets me really excited like I said, it's probably about a month before the shed's actually going to be here. They say 35 weeks, so that'll be, you know, whatever it is. But in the meantime, 
I'm going to keep posting these videos. I've got a lot of stuff to talk to you guys about around how I'm going to run electrical, which, you know, isn't technology geek sometimes for people, but I get to do it from scratch. So I'm, I'm playing around with that. I'll, I'm running all my own wiring and I'm already planning out how many outlets I'm going to need, the types of lighting that I want to have in the place. Uh, I want to do some, some sort of custom like LED lights that can do various colors. Um, and I want to, I'm trying to figure out the floor space and where my desk is going to go in this new space to figure out how can I do depth of field with my camera so it looks a little bit more like a professional studio. What's going to be behind me? Like, how am I going to lay that stuff out? All these different things that you may or may not think about when you go to build your own custom office or your own space to work in. But as you're doing video or your other types of work, you want to make sure that you think about them because over time, you're going to come across these things that you want to tweak. And the more that you can plan up front, the more that studio or that area can really be your own the moment you walk in. And that's what I'm really hoping for is to make a lot of these decisions or as many as I can control up front. So when it first gets here and it's constructed, I can just go, go, go. And as soon as possible, I can have a workable space that feels comfortable, that's heated, that's air conditioned, whatever. And I can start working in it. And then I can little by little start tuning it to, to be more custom. But so excited. Um, I'm, I'm hoping you guys will stick with me through the journey here. Um, if you have any comments or any questions about anything that I talked about, definitely put them in the comments below. Um, you know, I know it's a little early to ask people to subscribe to my channel, but if you'd like to subscribe, that'd be fantastic. I'm going to try to keep these videos published about once a week or as often as I can. Um, but let me know, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever it is, just let me know how this is going, if it's helpful, and if there's anything else you want to know about, I'll be happy to share. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you soon.